Let's go fight Bandit Keith now. As I've said, I don't remember the monster was. It might have actually been Dark Magician Girls. The girl is the person you get when you beat it, or that one light monster. I should have bought that monster. But um, yeah. Anyway, fighting this stage, yes. So we'll fight Bandit Keith. He is difficult, but he isn't anyone to really worry worry about. And yes, this recording is taking place in America. Woohoo. And of course, the fucker has gold surrounding him. Hey, kid, I'm your next opponent, the great bandit Keith. In America. I'm the former American champ. There's no way a snot nosed punk like you could beat me. <laughs> if you're the former American champion, that means you're not the champion anymore, right? <laughs> Shut your mouth, runt. I'm warning you. This and me is going to be hazardous to your health. How dare you call yourself a champion? You've always dueled without pride or honor, cheating every chance you can. You've fallen far, Bandit Keith. So far that you're nothing more than a failure. Ouch. Uh, I'll make you eat your words. You're about to feel the greatest pain you've ever felt in your life. Yeah, sure. Cool story, bro. So then, as I've said, and if you didn't read, Bandit Keith is a dark person, so be careful. Ah, Juan, what you gonna do? Attack first? Really? Huh, I usually attack second so we can keep his little area back there. But I usually do this, and I think I'm gonna do it now again. I'm gonna steal a spot. Yeah, I think I'm gonna steal a spot. Thank you! I swear, he usually attacks, uh... First. That's odd. Maybe maybe it was just me. It has been a while since I've played this game fully. Alright, the PD Moth. Now, I believe he has to be on field to evolve if you're wondering why I wasn't, like, ready for him evolve last time. So, summon Skull, obviously. We'll actually have you. There's Time Wizard. Time Wizard! Um... Gonna have Kamina, obviously, and I'm gonna only have two more monsters. I'll probably take Baby Dragon still. Yeah, this won't be a problem, right? Yeah. Water Beats. Um, yeah, I don't think he has any wood monsters, so we should be good. No, I don't want to take that because this is dark, so I gotta be careful. Oh, and Kraken. I forgot about Kraken. Now, just to be safe. I yeah, don't want to take any Earth monsters, so Kraken it is. Alright, this should be a good setup. Never, I got, never got the random place. I mean, like, seriously, you really don't want your monsters to, you know, do okay. So, there's three different ways you can attack. You can attack from the left, right, or right down the middle. Uh, this place is apparently filled with a sufficient amount of darkness. So, monsters that evolved, like, uh, Dark Magician. After after a certain level, he can actually evolve in places with high enough darkness. Even up here, it's considered dark, which I, always, I, think, I, I think I evolved them, like, right here or something, you know? But in these areas, you can actually uh, evolve these monsters. Or was it in the corner? Oh, no, it was right... It was, like, right over here or up here. Because um, that's that's the thing I had at the time. But he can actually evolve into the Dark Magician of Chaos uh, in this area. So, And I'm guessing the Dark Witch 2 or was the Dark Witch Light? I forget, anyway. Um, so, yes... And you might want to play defensive over here, considering the fact that your monsters can't, uh... You can't sit on that hole right there. Now this angel, I think, would be a best ideal to have up here. No, 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 that'd be a bad idea. Time wizard. Kami fucking no. Uh, baby dragon? I think I'll just have you back here. And again, I'm gonna be wanting uh, the Kraken. And Dark Magician Girl. She attacks by two squares like that and she moves diagonal. She can be... She's hard to keep track of. If you're fighting against a Dark Magician Girl, she is very hard to keep track of.
Now, even though he's considered dark for whatever reason, he is a machine person, so here's electric on the field. And he's obviously using it to beat light monsters. But the only reason he's really is considered a dark person is for his best monster. Which I think most of us probably know what it is. I'll wipe that smirk off your face! Death. Oh, it's those spike ball things. I don't believe they have great attack. Bring it on, chump. I'll take you down. Sure you will. Here I go. Now if you want to know what that monster is, let me show you it to ya. Double barrel dragon. And it doesn't say the movement and whatnot yet, but I tell you what, it is powerful as shit. So summon. Trick magician girl, I'm gonna see if I can have her go on the front line right now. And monsters I'm actually going to be using, like uh no. Maybe I should summon you. Oh, no, I don't have enough AP. Damn. I guess Time Wizard, then. Oh, and I need to do PD Moth, too, so I can evolve him now. I believe he evolves it for, if not... Because you actually... I believe you actually have to select to say, Hey, guess what? If you want to evolve him now, I believe. Same thing with Fusions, too. You actually have to waste it. I believe you have to waste a turn doing so. Which really does suck. Remember this. There's only one thing that rules the world. Money. Well, money does make the world go around if you want to get serious about it. Sorry to say, people. I didn't see what you were. Oh yeah, those clouds. Is that another cloud? Wow, so original. Couldn't have a Kamina in there? That was your last mistake. No Kamina means no god. No god, no win. Anyway, uh... No, you can't evolve yet. Damn, that annoys me. What are you going to do? I mean, he is getting pretty powerful, and he probably could do pretty well. Actually, no, don't move yet. I should get these monsters going. I'm curious. Hmm. Just curious how I can get these things to move. Okay, then, so. These are dark... So I think I'm gonna have my light monsters heading over there now. Summon. Now because the monsters over there are lightning, probably gonna head over there. Do crack in. Almost done summoning, and then next turn's gonna be pretty heavy. Actually, no. I just thought, how are you gonna be able to move? Oh, you move that oddly. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So, one, two. And you attack by two, correct? Yeah, you'll be fine. Okay. So. Oh, no, I can't do that. Wow, okay. So. I think I'm just going to move right here for now. And then turn. Got to wait to uh, open up Baby Dragon. Is it going hurt? Oh, imp. Oh, funny enough. Huh, nice. Blump. Okay. So then. How much damage can you do on this fucker? Yeah, you can't do actually that much. God damn it, time wizard. Get better. Now. I said now. Do it. Ooh. You is gonna be in for it. Might actually be best to play defensive right now, to be quite honest. Now, how does this actually work? I'm curious. So, two doesn't actually mean two, as in two movement? Like that? That's odd. I thought that meant you'd be able to move a very large area. Huh. So, I guess there's no such thing as move one with that? Or even attack one with that? Guess not. Because all it pretty much is, is it's you being able to attack both diagonally and, um, diagonally and in front of you. However, you don't, you have a hole in the middle of everything around you, meaning you can't attack directly up front. Kind of a, I want to call it like a spellcaster thing. You know, that's kind of why Dark Magician has it too. It's kind of a spellcaster kind of thing. 
Not great in close combat, but at the same time, still pretty decent nonetheless. Anyway, so that means the net, net. You're gonna move right there. One, two. You won't be able to attack. Hmm. Yeah, move right there. That'll work. Okay. Okay then, so... Okay, we're gonna- I'm gonna be ready for this, goddammit. Okay, baby dragon, alright then, so... Okay, so, let's see if this works. So you gotta waste a few turns doing that. And a Steel Scorpion, not that big of a deal to be quite honest. Whoop! Looks like Feral Imp wants to join the pate. Think he knew what I was trying to do there. Okay, yeah, Summon Skull can't do anything right now. You can. You might be able to take out one of them right now. Which would be awesome! Okay, I want Time Wizard to get some points. Nah, they're not gonna be able to take it out. This thing's too strong. Damn. Nope. One, two... Now, how do you move again? Yeah, one, two, and one, two. Yeah, if you went right there, you'd be able to go for a shot. Ah, damn. Actually, could you... No, you can't. Damn it. This is this is too difficult, goddammit. Okay, let's instead figure out what they can do next. So, one, two... Yeah, both of them can't do much. They can either be right here or right here. I mean... He can get hit, but... Not anymore. At least I don't believe anymore, would he? Okay, then. So, let's see. Two... And be right here. Okay, so he can be right there, so... Okay, let's see how that works. Uh huh, okay. So to do what I want to do, I think I'm gonna move Kamina a bit over. There. Right there, okay. So right there would mean... One, two, and then... So no matter where I move, I can't do anything right now with Dark Magician Girl. So we'll just stay right here for now. Okay, so... Alright, and I think that's how we're gonna keep stuff for now. And turn. Okay, let's see how this works. Here we go! This guy's nothing like you faced before! Aw shit, Zone! How does it feel to be blasted out of existence? You haven't shot yet. Silly bandit Keith. 
Oop, oop. Okay then, now can we take a hit? And if we did hit him, will we do any damage? Ooh, we do, we do a decent amount of damage now. The same thing. Ah, you're just there. What are you gonna do, I guess? You're not gonna be able to do anything. Common, I can't do anything. I think I'm gonna do the age-old strategy of wait for them. Yeah, I'll wait for them to come to us. Let's see, so he can go one, two, and then one. gonna go over here. No, that wouldn't work. I forgot. Damn. Um, there goes my dogs barking. I do apologizes. Maybe I can have him take this for bait. Yeah, he, well, he could hurt Dark Magician Girl if he goes to the left right now, so. Let's see how this works. So, I'm gonna give it a shot. Still can't have multiple monsters attack yet. I'm kind of on a stalemate on the left side. Or on the right side. Oh god. Have any monsters even been damaged yet? God damn. Okay, he's gonna attack the skelly. The. Yeah, the skell angel. Which is good. He's not even gonna. He's only gonna do about one third damage to it. Yeah, that thing's going straight in for the kill. Eek. Now you should do more damage, hopefully. God damn, yes you do. Go for it. And Dark Magician Girl. Oh yeah, he's out of your reach. Hmm. Damn. Welp. Fuck. Now you're just out of our reach, too. I want to have you move right here. Or no, I'll keep you right there. Oh god, we are in such a stalemate. Hate this. You know, thinking about it, no matter what he does, he can't really attack. Let's see. So we can move right he here or right here? Or no. Move right there and right there. The issue is, even if I move right here... See, he has a good strategy going on. Because no matter where I move, he's going to be able to hit one of my guys. In terms of, like, if I move right here, th he this monster will be able to get me. But if I move up, this one will be able to get me. So. But only one can get me thinking about it. Don't think he can go up there, sadly. So... Might be able to bait the fucker out. It's a thought. Then again, if I do move up here, I could use Summon Skull's ability. Thinking about it. Be a decent idea. I just said to dut right here and right here.
Now what if I don't actually allow him to go right there too? Okay, we'll see if this works. Attacked right there, are not going to be able to finish him, sadly. And these guys just aren't moving. So, right there, and right there. Oh no, you can only move one down, can you? Maybe Petey Moth can do it. Maybe. Oh, can you move at all? Oh, you can move and hit him. I didn't think about that. Fuck. That's a lot of damage. Do it. Kamida kills. Oh, no, I don't have enough AP for you. Damn. And this is the point in the game where you realize, oh, yeah, we need to save PP. There was a plot point to that. Not a plot point, but you know, a point to that in this game. Let's see if this helps. Okay then, so. Uh, I hope this works big time. It's oh god, that can do it. Holy shit, that can do damage. Fuck, I didn't think they'd be able to do that much damage. Maybe from thinking about it, maybe Merc Magician Girl's not that good. Yeah, it's not beaten yet. Shut up, Yugi. Okay, he's gonna go for that. He's gonna do some damage, but still. He's still kicking. Ouch. My monster's not beaten yet! See, those guys are stronger than you think they are. Ooh, he's running away. Eek. He knows what's going on. Okay then, so... It says enemies, so hopefully that's a yes. Let's do it! Special ability, Lightning Strike! Boom. Eleven. Eleven. Ah, oh, shit, I can't hit that one. Oh, God. Okay, you can hit him. Can you finish him off? Please tell me you can finish him off. No, you can't. Well, fuck me. Oh, that sucks. God damn it. Well, then I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, Kraken can't do anything either. Fuck me. I think the best thing to do is take out the monsters that I know I can kill, which would be this one to the left. I know I can kill you, so let's kill you. Eleven. Eliminated your first monster. Oh, feisty. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. Oh yeah, we need to. We would have to move right there to hit him. You would move right here. Fuck, man. You can do some damage.
Well, you're kind of shit, Dark Magician Girl. Can you ever find a chance to, you know, be useful? I mean, to be quite honest, it almost seems like you're getting more in the way right now, thinking about it. You just kind of stay there for now. Okay, so at least we can kill the feral imp. Sadly, we can't do anything else because she takes up too much PP. Seriously. Is she a good monster? Huh. Guess good looks can't save you. I'll show her attack once at least. For the squealers out there. Level up, please. Boom. Yes, end turn. Oh, God. Again, pretty crazy stalemate. What? I'm losing. Huh. I'll make my comeback. Yeah, you might. God. This is getting kind of theory of God. And for some... He's moving towards me? What? Oh, fuck. You're gonna take it out, aren't you? Shit. At least we're not fighting any fire monsters anytime soon. No, no, no. My bad. Now, unless that barrel dragon can actually hit her, I should be able to show you guys something. Nope. Okay. I'm ahead. I'll finish this duel quickly. It's gonna be more than just quickly, you gay. Don't, uh... I think you're better... See, it's that diagonal thing, her moving diagonal. She was the monster I was thinking of when I thought of a shit monster. Oh, yeah, you can hold that. Okay. So I think I'll have her attack. I'll turn the animations on for you guys. So, yay, you get to see Dirk Magician Girl. Your first anime girlfriends and etc. Because it's weird. I wonder if she has a pentagram on. Nope, nothing on her chest. In case you didn't know, that little pendant there is a uh, pentagram in the, J in the Japanese version. But we have to stay away from the Satan talk. Gal, the real. F We luring kids over to the dark side. Okay. So, so you move to attack this. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, God, you'd be able to hit him. But move right there. I want you to move there, too. Okay, so now we have to focus on you. I focus on you, I mean kick your ass. Take him out, sup at school. Oh no, I left the animations on too bad. And again, when you leave animations on, you can't skip them. What is up with that? As I've said, this is the PlayStation 2 era. You know, I mean, I'm pretty sure Kingdom Hearts was way out past this point. You know that game where we're like, fuck, wish we could skip, skip uh, cutscenes, right? Because the goddamn fucking Riku scene, which I actually never went through. Never finished that game fully, sadly. I finished two, like I finished a lot of King Hearts two, not three, or one. Runt. Yep. Okay. So I'm actually curious to see if I can get this fucker. Now, is there anything else I can do right now? With your movement, could you possibly go up there real fast? One, two, one, two. You might. Hmm, it's a thought. I'm just gonna keep you right there. Let's see, one... Oh no, because if I do that, he'll be able to hit me with this one. Yep. That's two, right? Okay, so... He moves right here. One. Two, one, two. His electric monsters are just kind of scared shitless from me. Like, oh shit, zone. He getting close? Oh no, he could hit me. Shit. Damn. No, PT. And I forgot to turn off animations. See, this is the reason I don't have animations on. Because I always seem to forget that they're on and I can't skip these scenes. 
Not only that, but the reason the reason I don't have animations on is because sometimes it's really distracting. Like you're too you, you want to watch the animations instead of actually watching the game, causing you to um. That was a lot of. Yeah. But you focus less on that than watching the game. Shit, that thing's going to the side. Fuck me. Okay, then, so... But PD, can you actually do anything? Oh, yeah, you can heal yourself, too. I forgot about that. Damn. I'd keep you there to heal yourself and shit, but you wouldn't be able to. Don't believe he could do anything. Yeah, he couldn't. Damn, I can't do much. Try to go right there, see if that works. If anything, we can get his, uh... Oh, no, that's a bad idea. I forgot. To actually uh, get these monsters, you have to destroy them. You can't just destroy the crest. Forgot about that. So keep that... Oh, you can hit that thing. Oh. You're useful. <gasps> Call the presses. Why can't I hit the monster from right there? You're really telling me that something's blocking that. Wow. Game be, uh... Game be mean. That's all I really have to say to it. But if I move right there, he should get scared. Which would actually be a very good thing. I want this monster hurt, so I'm not... Dead, dead, off. Get the fuck out of here. Hit. Good. One more hit and that thing dies. Yeah, because you know Yugi, he's the biggest cheater in the world. Especially with the shout of friendship and honor and junk. What the hell is he doing? Yep, he's coming back. He knows what we're trying to do. Good. Alright then, so this... Well, can we do it? Can we hit him? Can we? Can, can we? Damn. That pisses me off, because that would have been awesome. One, two, now, to be quite honest, since I've already lost a water monster and I could probably lose Dark Magician Girl, I might stick to doing the Earth One battle next. So we could use her as bait. Because he moves two and attacks by three. Meaning you could hit... Yeah, being right there. One, two. Let's see if this works. We could take out that barrel dragon, then take out a symbol. That'd be nice. I would be fine with that. Now, could you do anything? No, you'd have to be right there. Damn. Um. Actually, I'm gonna leave you alone for now. Yeah, real fast. Yeah, you'd be able to hit Moth, sadly. Ooh. 
Now nah, you'd be able to hit him though. Damn. I'm just gonna have you stay there for now. And you can still be moved. I do want to do that though, because I don't want him thinking that I'm going after his crest and go after the summoned skull. That would be bad. Now, the fact is, do I keep a monster here for bait? The problem with that, though, is that uh, I doubt uh, Petey Moth would be able to kill him. We're pretty much done now. I don't think any of the monster can move besides my crest, so we're gonna end turn. Alright, let's see if this works. What? He can hit him? No! Bullshit. I. Did I not move Petey Moth like I thought I was going to? I didn't move him, did I? That's probably what it was. Damn. Well, fuck, I didn't need you getting hit, too. That was a okay. Damn, he only moved one. Shit. That's what I was afraid of. Shit. Now his thunder things can come towards me, but I need to get rid of that dragon. Yeah, 180. Oh, you can hit it. Ooh. Might be able to take this thing out. What do you mean? Ah, oh, shit. I didn't think about that. Fuck. Go for it. Okay then, so you... Then I need you to go after him. God, you can do... You, you're gonna do more damage in the monster that's stronger against it? God damn. What are you gonna do? Do it! No matter which one he kills next time. We're gonna be able to take him out. So I think we got this. Because he'll have to go up here. Unless he goes up there. No, okay. yeah, yeah, we're, no, we're good. We can, we can destroy that next turn no matter what he does, unless he just runs away. Baby dragon, revenge kill. Level up, very nice. Need that. Need that big time. No, don't do that. You stay right here. My crest goes this way. Maybe if we can stop him from killing Kamina by going towards his crest, it might help. Maybe. Oh, and by the way, fun fact, if you attack somebody's symbol, you're not going to be able to prevent the ability to, um... If you attack somebody's symbol, you can't have animations on, from what I remember. Are you going for Kamina? Yeah, he's going for Kamina. Damn. You fought well, young Kamina. Believe in the you that believes in yourself. No! You son of a bitch. Kamino shall have revenge. Oh, we will have revenge for Kamino. That's what I'm gonna say. Hit this motherfucker. Damage. Eh. I tried. Eh.
Should be able to hit this next turn. Not exactly positive, but should work. All right, Time Wizard. You ready for the greatest kill in your life? Death. Bye-bye. Nice, nice. Now, is it four for the fusion or three? Baby Dragon still needs a level, I believe. Either four or three for both of them. I'll have to look that up. Let's do this. So he has one left, so we pretty much have this in the bag now. For the most part. Ouch. Oh, God. Dig gonna hurt. Okay then, so actually I think you can get a head off on that thing, which is good. More levels mean uh, more attacks means more levels. Can't kill it yet. Maybe we can get a shot at it, possibly. Yes you can, good. What? What? It showed Oh my god, fuck you game, fuck you. I wasn't thinking straight with that one, and it cost me, but what are you going to do? Attack him. Nothing else you can do. matter which way you go, pal. Actually, he could probably hit my crest one time, I'd still survive, so... Oh no, please, don't hit my crest, anything but that, no... Yep, all pieces have been moved. Uh oh, oh, we're getting the fuck out of here! He took the bait, good. That's the first crest that's ever been hit. I believe I might have hit Joey once with one. Yeah, you should be able to take this thing out with this out would be nice. But what's fun without showing the sub and skull hit something. And you usually get a lot of EXP for hitting shit too, so. As you can see, you can't have animations on, so. But we're gonna hit this for fun and for EXP. Three damage, yay. Or three thing, yay. Now time to finish it with Baby Dragon, which is at least nice in itself. Yep. Hopefully you can get some sort of a more XP off this. Yes, it will. We lost a lot of good men this fight, but we're gonna gain one tough motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. You're not getting away with this. Yeah, sure, go for crying a hole. Cry me a river, build me a bridge, and get over it. N no way! I've beaten tougher opponents than you. How could I lose? This duel was over before it began, when you decided to fight without honor. How do you even fight with honor? Like, seriously. What do you know? At least with, you know, dueling with children cards game. I think you kind of lose all honor at that point. <laughs> Drill this into your head. Next time, I will get my revenge. Sure Except you will. You wait. I'm out of here. Yeah, he doesn't appear again. Good riddance, Bandit Keith. You don't see him, so don't worry about him showing up and kicking your whales. And for some reason, this place caves in. I don't know why, it's just whatever. Whatever works for you, game. 36. Boop. Most of our monsters are getting more experience now, that's good. So with this, obviously, you get Barrel Dragon, and they'll take one of the Needle Balls. These things are fucking tricky. Then again, Bandit Keith was really strong because he, he uses 
one one uh, problem with your opponent's offensive. Or when you have one of your monsters on offensive, one of the biggest problems is running into a moment where, like he had, where he can't reach a monster. But with this, with both of his strategies, no matter where I moved, he'd be able to hit something. So it was smart. I, li I do like it. Woohoo. So anyway, that was a long-ass session. Bandit Keith was a motherfucking bitch. So, at least the Bandit Keith fight. I do apologize for that, but what are you gonna do? Uh, yeah, so I like the way I record right now. The way I got the microphone set up. Hopefully everything sounds good. And if it doesn't, well, life sucks. So I do hope you guys have enjoyed this session of Yu-Gi-Oh! Caps the Monster Coliseum. I shall catch you guys in the next video. This is Mike. The second junior signing in, out, here, there. Bye.